Hello, my amazing artist, and welcome back to Art While Apart with me, Miss H. Okay, to start, I have a question. Have you ever stood outside on a sunny day, looked down on the sidewalk or wherever you're standing, and seen your shadow? Well, if you have, you know that you have just made a silhouette. So, a silhouette is what we're going to focus on today, and we're going to look at how silhouettes are used in art. Well, what is a silhouette? I know it's something to do with shadows, and maybe you've done some shadow puppets before. Well, a silhouette is simply just the dark outline and shape of an object. And so here's an example. When we're looking at a silhouette, you can see that it is just the outline of the shape. And then on the inside of that outline, it's normally colored all in black. This is a typical silhouette of an, um, well, what animal do you think this is? Right, exactly, it's a wolf. And with silhouettes, there's we use the element of art called space a lot. So in art, there are positive and negative spaces. Let's look at some examples here. So when we are talking about positive and negative space, we are talking about the areas of interest in a picture. Where do your eyes go when you look at an artwork or a picture? Well, here is one artwork. Now, here's my question. Do your eyes go straight to the scissors or do they go to the background? My eyes go straight to the scissors and that is because this is an example of positive space. Positive space means that the item in the foreground is the main focus here. It is the area of interest. Now compare this photo to this photo. Okay, now do your eyes go straight to the scissors or do they go more to the white background? My eyes go straight to the white background and that is because this is an example of negative space. So in positive space, our eyes go straight to the white um, scissors here and that's because the subject in a positive space is the interest. And when we look at negative space, our eyes go straight to the background and that's because the background is the main interest when we're talking about negative space. Now, there is not one that is better than the other. These are both beautiful pieces of art. It is all up to what the artist decides they want the area of interest to be. So do you want the area of interest to be the subject? Then that would be using positive space. But if you want the area of interest to be the background, you would use negative space. Negative space, I like to think of as the opposite of what we would normally see in an artwork. All right, well, one artist I want to introduce you to is Kumi Yamashita, and she is a master at creating silhouette art and shadow artwork. So she is a Japanese artist who creates shadow art. Her art is made with light and a variety of perfectly placed objects that create these incredible shadow silhouettes. I mean, her artwork truly is fascinating. And I've included a video here next to me on this slide. And that's going to show you a lot of different Kumi's art. I mean, it is fascinating to me how she even thought of creating this type of shadow art. But you'll see that um, she uses objects like here, she's using 3D uh, numbers. And then the light source has to be around here. And it is shining on the letters, but then it's casting a shadow that creates, oops, sorry, this really beautiful silhouette of a profile, which is the side of someone's face. Really fascinating. So I encourage you to watch that video of Kumi's shadow art, and maybe you want to experiment and see if you could try to create your own this week. All right, 
on to what we are going to create. You have a lot of choices this week. The main point is for you to experiment with how to create a silhouette art piece. So if you click on um, any one of these words here, it's going to take you to a slide and it has a video that demonstrates how you can uh, create a silhouette art piece using this technique. So watch the video, and I've also included the steps there to help you. Just click the little house. It's going to take you back to your menu choice here. And then um, if you want some inspiration, click right here. And I've included all types of ideas. So these are all profile silhouette inspirations. A profile, again, is just the side of your face. And let's do a quick review. So if I'm looking at this art piece here, well, where my eye goes is straight to the figure, to the face here, the profile. And that's going to be using, and that means that they use positive space. So the subject is the main point of interest. But then if I compare that to this piece, well, my eye goes straight to these gorgeous flowers in the background. So if the background is the main interest, that would that be positive space or negative space? If the background is the main interest, that is negative space. Very good. All right, guys, so I've included a lot of examples for you. You can just click the next button, and that's going to give you some examples. Um, one last thing I want to show is I've included two more videos that I made of just different ways you could create some landscape silhouettes, and that is totally up to you. Um, during this week, just explore with creating silhouettes. Maybe if it's a sunny day, go outside and see how you could cast a shadow on the ground. And maybe you could use that as a part of your own artwork this week. Don't forget that the Art to Remember fundraiser is still going on. So you can, of course, continue working on that. All right, friends, I hope you have a great week. Have fun, take chances, and stay curious.